Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be machining the saddle, the cylinder block that sits on the boiler. I've already set this up so when I put the boring head in that's in the right place. This disc here is machined to the same diameter as the boiler. What I've done is I've got this set up centrally. I've moved this way so it's in the center of the boiler and then I've moved down this way you can see a mark there that's an inch and three quarter that will be the top of the boiler and then this disc from there that will be the center of the cutter and I've got a machine to that scribe line but let's get the boring head sorted out. Right, I've got the boring head all set up, ready to go. So let's get going. Right, I'll slowly get in there. I'll uh, do a bit more without video in it and then I'll get back to you on the last cut.
Right, this is the last cut that I'm doing. Then we'll try it on the uh, boiler. with that right we'll get it off of here and try it on the boiler right and there it is fitting on the boiler lovely if I put the waste shaft bracket on which is the same height to the center of there that's pretty good What I'll do now is I'll mark for all the holes around the flange and then there's a, a 5 16th hole here with two studs sticking out. So that's what I'll do next. As you can see I've marked the satellite with all the holes I've got to drill. So I'll get on and do those. As you can see I've drilled all the holes around there for the uh, studs that will come out of the boiler. It's a job to hold it in the drill so I clamped that onto the bench like so and I drilled with a pistol drill. It's quite easy drilling. Right so the next thing then I'm going to flatten that off drill a 5 16th hole in the middle and two holes, threaded holes for studs that's what I'll do next so I've got the cylinder block mounted on there looks a bit precarious but it's on there solid and I've got this flange square with the cross slide there and I've got that as close as I can to flat and all I'm going to do is skim that just to flatten it off when I've done that I shall center it up as good as I can and then drill a pilot hole for the center hole and then equal distance each way for the threaded stud holes I'm only doing light cuts.
Right, that's lovely. I've just swapped to the drill. Right, so I've got that centered up as good as I can. I'll just put the pilot all through the center first. Just check the drawing to see how far each way I've got to go. Right, I've got to move each way 0.338 to the centre of each. There we are. Just centre that one. Right, while that's there, I'll just get the tap drill and the tap, tap that out. Tap that by hand in a minute. I'll just move that over and drill the other hole. Just fill in the 560. All right, the way through. But what I'll have to do is tap out these holes because the small handle I've got uh, won't turn. There's not enough room there to turn here. So I'll use a hand ratchet in a minute. I'll just get that. Right, so I tap these by hand. Right, so let's go and put it on the boiler. Right, so here's the cylinder block set up on the boiler, roughly where it's going. The waste shaft bracket lines up lovely with the cylinders, the centre of the cylinders. Right, in the next video, I'll be machining this top. It's quite involved in there, because then I've got to mill out some ports and that. And drill some holes for the steamways going into each end of the cylinder. So please subscribe to my channel. And join me as I build a 2 inch scale Fowler Showman's Traction Engine.